Hello, my name is Eddie Tofby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I stop looking at my daily charts and instead concentrate on the longer term view using my weekly, monthly, even yearly charts. If you'd like to discuss any of these, I'd only be too happy to hear from you. So let me introduce today's longer term chart. Today I'll be looking longer term at Euro Sterling. I would like to start by reprising for a second consecutive year now my opening from the end of 2020 as it is still relevant and I quote The first thing to note here is that despite the very large range in 2020 we still have had neither an annual key reversal nor a lesser annual outside year. On a fractal basis, we did have monthly key reversals up in February and also September, but nothing for the year. The move up during 2020 comes as a disappointment to those who followed the 2019 annual key reversal up. End of quote. The point of regurgitating that, yet again, was to show how much the market has been, firstly, moving lower through 2021, and then how the range of 2020 between 8280 to 9500 still influences this market, even now, going on for three years later. The only significant change in 2022 has been a slight extension lower, below the 2020 low, down to 8201. But it is noteworthy that it was not a single monthly close below the low of 2020, not one. Yet there were two features in 2021 that still required discussion even now in 2023. The first is the ragged bow tie formation made in July from the then declining one year moving average, currently at 85.84, the two year moving average, currently 85.62, and the five year moving average, currently 87.22. Now, this bow tie is not perfect, but interestingly, it looks like the moving average went in and out of the bow tie in the right order. Hence, using July 2021 as a base, we saw an initial move in the direction of the moving averages, that is, lower. The second significant part is the idea that we should see the start of some sort of move between 15 to 20 months after the crossover. That meant between the end of October 2022 and March 2023. I know that's a wide area of time, but that is what this bow tie formation demanded. Well. The low was formed earlier in March last year, and we did have a pipe bottom in July and August that led to the explosive move higher in August. However, since then, the next major move was last month's monthly key reversal up, and it is way too early to call that the start of something. But it was the first close on the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2020 to 2022 move at 88 and a half since January 2021. I should point out probably earlier if truth be known, that the bow tie prompted two lagging dead crosses back in 2021. The second feature is the complex crown top that I highlighted over the last few years. This stretches from the end of 2015 and even with the move back up this year, effectively 2021 is an annual immediate countering bullish thrusting pattern. Well, it didn't, I don't support the idea, but it is as yet not strong enough to counter it either. This leads me to the final point I wish to discuss, something I've raised for three consecutive years now. I would like to echo the following from my commentary of each of those years when I looked at the downside and I quote, Of course, it is completely pointless unless we can break the key 50% Fibonacci line of the 2006 to 2008 move at 8166. End of quote. That is true today, this year and also in 2023 as it was in 2022 and 2021 and 2019. The complex crown pattern cannot reach its full potential unless the key 8166 level is broken. Not breached, you understand, but broken and properly. That doesn't seem to be currently viable as we look at 2023. Thank you for listening. This annual broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited.
And here comes the final bit.